Enough is enough. Young people commemorating Martin Luther King Day with a march against violence. Thanks for watching the news at five tonight. I'm David Custer live in our Saginaw studio. And I'm Meg McLeod live from our studio in downtown Flint. The youth march against gun violence comes less than two weeks after one of their classmates was shot and killed. TV 5's James Felton brings us their urgent plea to their community. Let everybody know that this needs to stop. Gun violence. High school sophomore Kanaya Johnson says she's lost a couple of friends and family members to it. That's why she took part in the Dow Treasure Academy's Youth March Against Gun Violence, an event to commemorate a day of service in honor of Martin Luther King Day. The march began at the UAW Local 699 Hall and ended at Saginaw High School, where a rally was held. This is the first time that I can recall in the city of Saginaw that we've had youth show act activism and to stand up and to really lead the way in, in bringing awareness to gun violence. Kareem Bowen is the spokesperson for the march. He tells us he's glad to see these young people getting the chance to engage with area leaders. We see a number of our uh, both our national and our state and local politicians that are here that they will be given a platform that they can speak uh, to power and to share what they want to see for their community. What they want to see is an end to the violence that claimed the life of classmate Keyshawn Brooks, who died after being shot at a gas station January 3rd. Saginaw County Prosecutor John McColgan tells us these crimes take a toll on everyone. Very, uh, you know, heart-wrenching. Uh, we deal with all the victims, the aftermath of the violent crime, and it's just heart-wrenching. My staff, uh, suffers through it along with the victims. As for Johnson, she's optimistic today's action will make a difference tomorrow. Keep your head up. Better days are coming. Better days are coming. Reporting in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.